Just last month, the Department of the Air Force published the draft environmental impact statement for Starship launches from Space Launch Complex 37, which contained a wealth of previously unknown details. For instance, SpaceX intends to construct two Starship launch towers at the site and may also install up to two catch towers, which could additionally serve as test stands. The site will feature its own air separation unit, a methane liquefaction plant, and much more besides. The document also confirms that SpaceX will transport Super Heavy boosters and Starship spacecraft by barge from Starbase to the Cape for the initial years, at least until full production is operational in Florida. While the environmental paperwork process is still ongoing, SpaceX received a limited right of entry in March that allowed the company to start some preparation work at the site. Last month, SpaceX demolished the existing mobile service tower and fixed umbilical tower that was used by ULA on the Delta IV family of rockets. During our team's flyover of the Space Coast, they were able to spot the cleanup work following that demolition last month. 